Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. So has this happened to you? You think to yourself, why am I not making more money? Why is it always a struggle? How come things don't come easy to me? Maybe it's you. <laughs> I don't mean that in a negative way, but there is an art to abundance, bringing it to you, so to speak. You have to be able to be ready to receive what should be coming to you. How do you get into the receive mode? We're going to learn a lot today. She is a natural health professional, all different types of modalities from Reiki to she's a Reiki master to many different things. And this is one of them, all part of, let's call it energy, energy healing. Renee Lennox joins us here once again. How are you doing today? I'm great, Steve. Thanks for having me. I am ready to receive. <laughs> <laughs> send me the good stuff so i'm right there with you and in my journey of learning about energy and what attracts and what doesn't what supports and what doesn't i really believe that people who are going through some challenges maybe with abundance they're blocking it and they don't even know they're doing it sometimes they may even be what they call self-sabotaging themselves for a number of different reasons. Does that does that sound in line with what we're talking about today? Yes, definitely. Hmm. You know, we every day our thoughts, words, and actions are creating our reality all day, every day. And we were never taught to pay attention to our emotional guidance system. We talked about this in one of our previous podcasts that there's an emotional scale. So when you wake up in the morning, you're either up in the love and abundance frequencies, which are the first seven emotions of love, joy, happiness, enthusiasm, optimism, hopefulness, satisfaction, or you're down in worry and fear and lack and scarcity, which are all the lower frequencies and vibrations of pessimism, doubt, worry, discouragement, anger, envy, fear. So depending when you wake up in the morning, where you are on that scale, are you up in love and abundance where you're going to be attracting it? Because whatever frequency and vibration you're giving off that day, that's what you're attracting from the universe situations at that same frequency. So when you fire off a rocket of desire to the universe of, of something that you're praying for, you know, money, perfect soulmate, the perfect career, health. Uh, maybe you're trying to have the beautiful baby, whatever you're praying for, you fire that rocket off of desire off, but then people don't realize that they have to be in the receiving mode. You can't ask for this thing that's up at a high frequency and vibration and then in the next breath, be doubting whether or not it's coming because you automatically went down to lack, scarcity, and fear. And when you're down there, you're not summoning the energy that creates worlds. You just, you're at a completely different radio frequency from the thing that you're looking for. So when you're trying to manifest something, the most important thing is you have to believe and expect that it's coming and then you'll receive it's right in the Bible, ask, believe, mm -hmm. receive, but you have to have that belief. And the best thing to do is love yourself up, keep doing things that bring you joy to raise your frequency and vibration. And one of the biggest things to raise your frequency on the emotional scale is gratitude, gratefulness. Like I tell all my clients, as soon as you wake up in the morning, three things you're grateful for before you go to bed, three things you're grateful for. You're mm. raising your frequency and vibration mm. and picture, start envisioning the thing that you're looking for. If you're looking for that a perfect soulmate, envision what you're looking for in that person, the things you want to do with that person, set a place setting at the table for that soulmate, knowing that he or she is on the way, you know, get yourself prepared. And the other thing is you have to pay attention to 
uh, how you are at receiving energy. In order to receive abundance, you have to learn how to receive all kinds of energy. So think back the last time somebody gave you a compliment or a hug or a gift, something, a simple energy exchange. How did that make you feel when somebody complimented you? Did it make you a little off put? Were you nervous? Were you uncomfortable? The, the universe doesn't differentiate between worth and value. It doesn't think that money is any different from a compliment. So if you're just, you know, from a hug or something, if you're nervous and uncomfortable, the universe is pick picking up your frequency and vibration with that reaction and matching you. So it's not, something else is going to come to you that's going to make you, that's nerve wracking, off-putting and uncomfortable. So... Mm. You have to start practicing with little things, just like a, a penny that you find on the floor. Be grateful. A coupon that comes in the mail, a smile from someone, a hug. Celebrate those small energetic exchanges. Be grateful for them, because when you're grateful, the universe just wants to keep giving you more and more things to be grateful about. But practice. The next time someone compliments you on your your shirt or your hair, just thank them with grace and ease and know that you are worthy of every energetic exchange. You mm. know, don't say, oh, this, this little thing, it was cheap. It was, you, you feel like you have to, you know, I got it on sale. Right. 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 You know, instead of just saying, thank you, you know, thank you is a complete sentence done. <laughs> right. And, you know, it's funny you should say that. A couple of, couple of things here resonate with me. Um, at the gym today doing push-ups. A dime was right in front of me. And I'm like, I'm picking it up. You know, yeah. I'm picking it up. Later. That's for me. That's it. I should feel, based on what you're saying, more grateful for it. Even though it's, I don't want to say just a dime, but it's for me. Right. And there's more Celebrate. coming. Celebrate. There's, more, there's Celebrate. more coming. That's right. And I, I, I mean that. I know that. I feel that um, I recently heard about the, the 17 second rule. Have you ever heard about that? Yeah. I, I was talking a little bit about that. How, where, if you count backwards from 17, when things happen or no, not exactly, but similar. Okay. It's where it's in line with what we're talking about, where you need to go back to a time in your mind, where you were just so happy. Could have been your first car when you met your partner. Could have been that great vacation. What did that feel like? Just think about it. Hold that positive thought for 17 seconds. Yes, and just milk it. Right. And continually practice that. And that just keeps raising up your vibration. Just hold that moment like, yeah, that was great. I, don't I mean, I can think of one a couple of days ago. I went kayaking. Haven't gone in so long, so behind, summer's over, trying to kick it in. I just went to a deserted island beach, rolled up on the beach, sat in my kayak, we just laid down. And it was just, the water was like that deep at that point where I was. It didn't carry me out, but it just like rocked me. And I was just, just looking like this is, don't end. I don't want you to end. This is great. This is just hearing the birds, hearing the water, just, you know, having a, just a cold beverage. Like, yeah, this is just that feeling. 17 seconds. I'm not there, but I'm going to hold it. <laughs> Maybe go back tomorrow. Uh, whatever it might be. Now, we're talking about the art of receiving those good things coming to you. I, I didn't even think that we're really talking about manifestation. Yes. Yes. Here. What happens? Let's say you 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 make the best effort to manifest what you want. You kind of open the portal to, yeah, I'm good. Bring it to me. I, like I said, I believe it's come my way. And I mean that for myself. I really do. I, I, I think I feel that good things are coming in my direction and the sort of things that, you know, I'm, I'm looking for. I don't have a doubt that they're not going to show up. I mean, 
maybe not showing up in my time, but I'm, I'm tapping the brakes and it's all good. What happens when you have a negative thought? When you go into one of those, really? Like, what's, when, when is that going to happen? Yeah, it's, it's on the universe's time. Does that derail your effort? Does that negate all the work you've done so far when you have that negative moment or a couple of them? I actually, that was the next thing I was going to talk about is like letting go of control when that kind of thing happens because we want to keep controlling everything. And when you are trying to control, you're coming from a place of fear and lack and doubt. And you're down at number 22, the lowest frequency and vibration on the emotional scale. So you have to learn how to release and surrender things to the universe and trust the process. I know it's difficult mm. because the universe's timing may not be in alignment with your timing, mm -hmm. but the universe has the much broader perspective. They know the bigger plan for your soul mm -hmm. and they are orchestrating the perfect plan behind the scenes and delays are not denials so something may be lingering a while for you and you're frustrated and you're wondering why this wait but there's reasons for it you may be still being prepared for what they have for you next hmm. and it's all part of your soul's journey and your growth and it may be a huge opportunity but they have to know that you are prepared for this huge opportunity and being able to handle it. So you have yep. to learn how to trust the process, you know, know that it's going to come at the perfect time and it's going to be what's for your greatest good and the greatest good of all. So that's the other thing I tell everyone when you're mm -hmm. trying to manifest something, if you're um, writing out your requests of what you want, um, always say or something better because mm. you may ask the universe for something but they have miraculous things that you could have never even imagined and you don't want to pinch yourself off from that so always say or something even better shoot big <laughs> yeah right <laughs> just in case your plan wasn't even that you know the ultimate of what is in store for you and I have, I actually have two methods that I teach my clients for releasing and surrendering. One, if you're really into nature, you can write out your request on a piece of paper. And like I said, whatever that request is, say, or even something better to make sure you're open to the, you know, the ultimate plan and then go out into nature and release that piece of paper into nature signifying your releasing it to the universe you know send it down a, a river lake you mm -hmm. know let it blow in the wind any way you want to release it into nature signifying i am releasing and surrendering this i know it's in the universe's hands and i'm wiping my hands of it and you have to walk away you have to release and surrender it and just trust the process that's let the it, first let thing. it go. Let it go. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and, and I love that symbolism. It's symbolic. You yeah. know, it just, you wrote it down. It's, I'm not getting religious here, but it's almost like the song that came out 20 years ago. Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same, kind of, same kind of concept. Universe, take it over. Take, you, you, you do what you need to do with it. Because we don't know best. We think we do. We don't know. We don't have the answers. And like, to your point, it could be a greater plan out there. We don't know right. what that plan is. Right. We know we're a part of the plan, but we don't know what the plan is. What did you say before? Um, denial? Oh, delays are not denials. Yeah. Yeah, you have to remember that. You know, they're orchestrating everything perfectly. So, and, and while you're waiting, the other big thing you have to remember is not 
to look at your friends or family mm -hmm. and be envious and think, yep. why is everything happening so quickly for this person and not for me? Because comparison is the thief of joy. You do not, you just went shoop, right down to jealousy, which is number 20 on the, down on the emotional scale, only two notches up from fear. So you don't want to go down there. We're all on our own journey. And what someone else has may not be good for your path. Nope. You know? Yes, I, I like... Um, now that I'm older, you know, I don't worry about materialistic things as much. I've learned this uh, method of admiring without acquiring. Hmm. You know, like when I see somebody with a big, gorgeous boat and I'm like, oh, that, that looks really fun, but I don't need to own it. You know what I mean? I'm happy for that person that has that all part of their plan i personally wouldn't be able to take care of it you know I, I think it's great but it's not part of my soul's path totally gotcha yeah. and I'm, I'm at that point in my life too because you get to a certain point in your life age whatever where you realize that the things that you thought were important they're not important they're just not exactly it's just like you know there's things that we need, things that we want, and that's all good. But those things really don't. And perception is not reality. I hear so many stories now that I'm more tuned into things in my journey where you look at somebody and it's like, wow, man, they got it going on. What? If you hear their story, it's not what you think it is. Yeah. More times than not, they're strong. I mean, you, you know, I've heard stories even recently of somebody in my mind. They got it going on. They like they present well. They're just like, like full of promise and direction, you know, quietly inside of me. I don't want to say I was jealous, but I was envious. Like, well, yeah, yeah, look at that. Um, then when I learned more, their house has been in foreclosure for four years. They barely making it. Like, oh, but but you think quite the opposite of what's going on there. So exactly again it's not a comparison um to your point of believing that it's coming even you know in manifestation uh let's say the the perfect partner in your life i'm going to admit this and it's going to be you know kind of crazy but there was one time where i was sitting in my car it's down by the beach it was at night i was waiting to pick up someone and i just looked over at the empty car seat next to me and had a conversation with that person that is going to come into my life I love that. I'm not even kidding. Like, you know, just a just a deeper conversation. And to add to that, there's been other times where someone has showed up, but I wasn't, and this can get us into manifestation for a moment. It was, everything was perfect, except I left off some details in my manifestation of that person. And they were key details. Okay. And, you know. This was great, except this wasn't so great, but this was really important. And, you know, it, it could have been the total package, if you will, but I left that off. I just assumed that would come with the package. Um, right. So I, I struggle with how specific you need to be. If it's a person, you know, some some people like to got to have, you know, blonde hair and blue eyes, whatever it's like. That might not be the perfect person. And that person with dark hair and dark eyes may show up and you're like, oh my God, this is it. Wow, right. But you didn't realize that. The universe knew it, but you didn't. How specific when we manifest should we be? That's why I don't like being too, too specific. Or if I am, I say, or even but that that statement. Or yeah, I got to remember that. You know, remember, something that's a even good one. greater that's for my, if you and say uh, something even greater, that's for my greatest good and the good of all. And then the, your divine counterpart will come to you, not just a soulmate, your divine counterpart. Hmm. I have to remember that. Uh, it's almost something like even a, greater. <laughs> a, con a contractual out, you know, <laughs> that you make. My mom always used to say to me, if you need to sign something, and you're not sure about it, always sign your name and say, subject to attorney's approval. 
it kind of almost reminds me of the same thing where, or greater, Hey, I'll take greater, but unless you ask for it, doesn't mean you're going to get it. Right. And another hmm. thing you, you have to get yourself to the point where you can celebrate the contrast in life because we're down here in these meat suits to learn lessons and love and forgiveness are the biggest ones. So your soul is just constantly throwing situations at you that are happening for you, not to you. They're, they're growing you. Your soul is evolving all the time for your mission down here. So mm. if, and we wouldn't know what we do want if we didn't experience what we didn't want. So we're, there's constantly going to be contrast in life, but every challenge is a stepping stone to greatness. You're being prepared. You're facing this challenge. So ultimately, you can get to the point where when a challenge comes, you just say, all right, I'm celebrating this contrast. There's something greater on the other side of this. I'm going to deal with it. And when you get to that point, you'll be in such like a divine flow because you know that this is all part of your preparation and there's something greater on the mm. other side every time look at look back at your life at all the doors that have closed and an even greater door open for you over and over through those challenges that mm. made you who you are today you know we don't take stock in that we focus on the negative instead of looking at what has happened. I'm not saying it was easy. No. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying it was easy, but I do believe things happen for a reason. Whether you want to accept it or not, you have to wait. You know, it's, uh, it's part of the plan. I believe there's a plan. I mm -hmm. don't know who made that. That's up to each individual to decide whether it was God, universe, whatever. Um, Final question here. Do you believe that for any of this to work, that you need to believe that there is something greater than you? I think so, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe if you didn't have that belief that there is some kind of life force coming through you yeah making you breathe we don't have to think about our heart beating or our breathing or you know something is some life force is doing this it's 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 you bigger know? than us and again whatever you want to believe um but you know i don't i don't believe it's uh you know jimmy the prophet standing over there and he's hey whatever you need i'll get it for you there's something and i think that's what we define as spirituality something bigger than the both of us there's some divine power that's yeah. whatever I, and i don't want to label things because i you know people right, get a little never, uncomfortable with you right. know religion and whatever but there's something I, you know right. i don't know what it is yeah I, I honestly i'm gonna tell you now, i don't have proof <laughs> 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 i really don't i can't tell you can't tell you for sure but i i feel that it's there whatever it is Whatever, if it's the universe, whether it's this energy, this this amazing energy around us, whether it's a relative, relatives that passed away that are there for you, moving you forward. God, I don't know, but right. I, I believe if you don't believe in something, um, you're not in a bad place, but you're not in the best place. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, frequency wise, when you don't have that hope or optimism yeah hope you know it would be tough hope yeah 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 so you know cultivating like an unwavering faith and trust and gratitude mm. just goes such a long way because it keeps you up in love and abundance where love and abundance are just going to keep flowing to you yeah you know, i just got an epiphany we're out of time but i got to share it because it dropped in when you were a kid What'd you believe in? Santa, typically, many right. kids. Yeah. And Santa brought you things that you wanted. Right. <laughs> but you believed. But you right. believed. And Santa was bigger than all of us. You know, there's this, you know, uh, mom and dad, Santa. You know, it it was there. It was something to believe in. So 
whether it works or not, I believe to believe makes it work. Exactly. Hmm. Um, this is just a piece of what you practice in terms of energy, uh, in terms of natural health, uh, supporting people, Reiki, all of that. Uh, Renee, how does somebody find you? They have a question, maybe a question about manifestation. They need some coaching. They want to connect. How do they do that? Okay. Um, you, my website is www.holisticgroove.com. My phone number is 215-850-3628. My email is renee at holisticgroove.com. And I'm on, I have a YouTube channel, Holistic Groove dash Renee Lennox. It's R-E-N-E-E -E, Lennox, L-E-N-N-O-X. CHHP is my YouTube. I have a ton of uh, holistic videos on there. And if anyone is interested, I have all my clients do my 30 day. Today's going to be a great day challenge hmm. to help you get up on the and up into the love and abundance frequencies. Hmm. And if anyone is interested in that, email me at Renee at Holistic Groove and I'll send you a copy of it to help you get up on that high flying disc. So the abundance starts rolling in. Wow. Wow. Thank you for that. Um, I've already shared it. I've shared with you that I've shared with others a lot of these principles. Um, and you make it very easy to understand. I get it, people. Some of this is woo-woo for, for right. those who are new to it. Uh, what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Why yeah. not try it? Uh, you might be you might be amazed. If anything, you're going to raise your vibration up and feel so much better. Um, thank you for being here today. Truly appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thanks. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.